in the basement. Hey, look Yay. at us. Are we something? We're neat. We're neat <laughs> we in the basement. Look at us. But we're um, in a different room. I'm very, very confused. This is the uh, the new geekshowpodcast.com studio set. It's uh, it, it's it's only half. This used done to be right your now. TV room. Mm -hmm. this I like was. this. Yes. <laughs> I like that it's still cold as shit, though. <laughs> well, you know, it's very cavey. It, you know, Johnny Carson always kept his set cold because his guests would fall asleep, and wow. I don't want that to happen to Scott Pierce, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Scott Pierce. Hey, hey, he's well. back with us. Letterman says he does it to keep the comedy fresh. Ah, oh, yeah. they all they all do. One um, comedy rots faster. So uh, <laughs> yeah, well, let me thank the sponsors, and we'll get underway. Uh, so here we go. We got uh, new sponsors. We got. Uh, the North American Discworld Convention. <laughs> what? Yeah, Discworld. Discworld. Hey. It's it's uh, Terry Pratchett. Oh, the Terry Pratchett. I thought you were, I think there's uh, yeah. those idiots like you guys that go out and throw the Discworld. <laughs> oh, Frisbee no, Frisbee That's what I thought. What is it? I thought, Golf I thought, discs. Uh, I thought Discworld was Larry Nevin. <laughs> uh, it's so it's nadwcon.org. Go there and uh, take a look at it. Also, secretcompasscollectibles.com. Want to thank them? Go to their website. Click on. Uh, there's a link on geekshowpodcast.com. Mm -hmm. Go there. Uh, secret Compass Collectibles. What do they have? Uh, Secrets. Collectibles. Collectibles. Okay. <laughs> we can't talk. Right. It's a secret. Shut up. This is the uh, this is the serious stuff. I'm 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 considering getting one of those Tony Stark racing jackets from them. <sighs> okay, buddy. It's tough. Uh, also, uh, let's see. We want to thank, of course, Doctor Volt's Comic Connection. Yay! Shaw. Our enablers for I don't know how long. Woo. Nicest guys in the world. Even um, if you cancel your hold, get a hold <laughs> and you'll uh, get ten percent discount off purchases over twenty dollars and a monthly preview catalog that comes free with the holds. And hey, they let you read the comics. Oh, Go figure. And they're shocking. nice. But uh, big ups to PC laptops, of oh, course. For sure. Dan Young. Dan Young uh, hooked me up. Uh, took care of my laptop. Had a riddled with spyware. <laughs> oh really? yeah. Fixed it up. Real nice. Porn will do that to you. Yeah. Those and they're awesome. Uh, Took care of it super fast, and they're super friendly, and thank you so much. PCLaptops.com. The porn was awesome? Yes, and the service. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> After the porn. All of the above. They didn't even look at me uh, weird because of the porn. But uh, go and see Dan. All of the uh, desktops and laptops are handcrafted in the USA, prepared and assembled just for you. Uh, by their uh, nice human beings that are there. Uh, oh, and a big uh, thank you to uh, the Beam Me Up Scotties for our theme song. They are performing on March 18th at 7 p.m. at Uncommon Grounds in Ogden. Go and see them and tell them Geek Show says hey. And tell them to come to U uh, Salt Lake. Yeah, we need Sometime. them to have a goddamn show up here. We need to see hey. them down here. Maybe they could. Although it's a long drive. <laughs> what is that? Maybe they could play Geek in the Joe basement. Says, hey. yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, it's a long okay. drive. It's a long drive from Logan. Uh, I don't blame them. Now, it's as, Ogden, as actually, a, uh, from. I thought they were from Logan. I'm sorry. As a business oh, owner, ninety miles. Let, let me just tell you how mm -hmm. uh, how prolific the Geek Show says hey thing is. Oh, does that work? Uh, yeah, it works a lot. I get probably three or four orders a week through Grimley's from uh, Geek Show listeners, and every single one of them, Geek Show says hey. Lee George Cade, ladies and gentlemen, Grimley's. dot com. It's a Grim G R M M L E I G H. Yes, got an I. Great, great place yes. to <laughs> great place to paint your kids up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see, Jimmy Martin, Slug Magazine, also the big movie mouth off. Howdy do. Film critic extraordinaire. Jeff Ice, film critic for the world. MSN Yay. Entertainment's Parallel Universe. And Parallel. ladies, he tastes like beer. He does. What? So if you Lick like him. beer, if you happen to be a Hungarian woman, yeah. Lick him. It tastes like beer. He's, yeah. He's, I was, uh, that's apparently the rumor going around oh. after Pub Quiz. Awesome. Is it he tastes like beer? Well, it was your birthday week last week. What are you, dude, so are you're you giving to, out? You're supposed to taste like beer. Are you giving yeah. out samples at pub quiz? Yes, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> with with my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Mouth samples. Scott, <laughs> Scott Pierce, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Pierce. Yay. Yay. He looks like Earth. you look like the um, weirdest Bond villain of all time. <laughs> 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 well, we, I told him that he needs to bring his dog because uh, on Comcast, where, when we're on, we're always getting beat by the adopted dog. Right. You know, when it comes to views, you know, on the Comcast On Demand. So I told him to bring his dog because, you know, a cute animal. Hey, I can bring He's some dogs. very cute. Uh, bring a dog we can turn this place into a kennel. Your well, dogs well, are <laughs> scrolls, though. Yeah. Well, I, I would be afraid that any minute one of your dogs is going to assume my form and take over. <laughs> so, so Scott Pierce, uh, TV critic, Salt Lake Tribune. It's so nice to say Salt Lake Yay, Tribune. Yeah, Salt Lake Tribune. I love you know, your I get a conference the call the other day, and I was thinking, oh, thank God, I don't have to spell Voldemort anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's the dessert. Oh, okay. Oh, Two right. desert, 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 desert news. Desert right. rat. It's the desert rat. Desert. And uh, wild card, Shannon Barnes. Dead man. Dead man walking. <laughs> Dead man walking. <laughs> Crawled my way out of the grave to come to this. Well, <laughs> That's and, we, and we appreciate that. Yeah, I don't feel good. Anyway, uh, 
<laughs> he doesn't look like he's going to pass pub out. Pub quiz or go see pub quiz uh, Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights at Lucky Thirteen. Now, yeah. Since you have to behave, does this mean I have to drink more? Uh, yeah, I, I would say yes. <laughs> ah, now well, I've this offered, could now this could be a offer, win-win then because he could standing pass offer out. for everybody, anybody that came in Jeff's car today. Mm-hmm. Since I will not be drinking, uh, I will drive Jeff's car home. So you guys fucking do it. Get it on. All right. Like bang a gong. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the other designated driver of the uh, Geek Show podcast, TTT. Triple T. Triple T. Too tall, Tony. Triple T. <laughs> um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, Carrie Jackson. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey. Carrie Jackson. Jackson. Uh, Milton Tones. Wait, Here. actually, that goddamn thing you do at 6 o'clock in the morning every morning scares the shit out of me. Which one? Uh, uh, master, the f- master, f- master Shake. Shake. Yelling, the world yelling every it's, it's 420 somewhere Time in the world. Get up, you lazy bastard. Up, you lazy bastard. Good you stuff. Ma- I, you I, master I hear, shake early in the morning? Yeah. No. I, I hear you just want people to listen to your show from 6 to 10. Just my show. Just your show. 6, six to, to 10. 10, Monday through Friday. X96. 96. Yep. Or x96.com. I, I remember when I was a team player. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't master Memories. shake every morning. Because a doctor told me it might kill me. That's right. Uh, let's see. Where do we begin? Um, there's, there's so much. There is. Begin? There is a lot of so stuff happening. Let's start with the Green stuff. Lantern action figures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they suck. Oh, oh come on. Really? I saw uh, previews. I, if you go to, um, you didn't see it in Toy Fair, did you? No, did not yeah. see it in Toy hey, Fair. Doesn't exist. My That's Toy Fair is still coming. All right. Yeah. The, uh, I've, I've got another issue or two, I think. <laughs> there, there, there's, there's, there's a couple of good action figure news sites, and they had some sneak peeks uh, pre, pre Toy Fair sneak peeks of the um, Green Lantern movie toys. There's about seven or eight different variations of just Green Lantern. Of course. And uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, here's Green Lantern with giant green cannon. Here's Green Lantern with giant green Gatling gun. Is it the same Green Lantern, though? Or different, is it a different, different Green Lantern Different sculpts. The bigger six-inch figures look more like Ryan Reynolds. The uh-huh. three-inch, the, the smaller ones, the as we call it, the good scale, uh, just kind of looks like a lump of turd. I don't give a shit. I just want the uh, Green Lantern on the uh, four-wheeler. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I always release that. You know you're, you know you're going to get some Green Lantern. It's gonna because be good. you kind of have to figure that out. With why, why does Iron Man have a quad runner? Yeah, why does the Hulk yeah. need a quad runner? Well, the Hulk, obviously, because he can't drive a car. I just want the variation where he's crying because Carl Johansson dumped him. <laughs> oh, well, I, bu- I bought the dead Green Lantern with the number two yellow pencil. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, that's there actually the that's Mattel is making a Green Lantern pencil sharpener. You can just stick. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the one with the big green catcher's mitt. That's what I want. <laughs> the hammer. That would the be big a boxing great, glove. A great thing. Thor yeah. replicas of the ring and other things come out with it. Nowhere near as cool as the Thor and Captain America action figure lines that have been. Uh, Boy, they're pretty. Teased. Thor, you will be able to buy the Thor replica helmet for ten bucks, and the helm- the hammer Mjolnir with sound effects built in for twenty. Ah. And it is uh, oh, like soft safety foam, so you can beat the living shit out of all your friends. <laughs> but, yes. but, Excellent. But if you tap it on the ground, does it turn back into a gnarled cane? <laughs> That'd be so cool. No, it does God not. Damn it. I'm not going to buy anything Thor, and I'm not going to go see the movie because I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> You're having, having a problem with. Uh, no, you just close your right guy. eye when the black no, guy comes Shannon's, on the screen. Shannon's know, Irish heritage being pissed off. I don't go see movies with those. black people. Okay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care this what episode is called Shannon is a Racist. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, Shannon suddenly became a racist. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna, uh, okay, I'm going to see one more movie with black people in it. What? Because uh, I saw there's that new Big Mama movie coming out. <laughs> like oh. Father, Like Son. Yeah. Yep. That's what you so need. So i got to finish out that trilogy. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Well, now, are there, are there black people in uh, <laughs> Superman coming up? Uh, yes. Superman Lois movie? Lane's going to be oh, cast Superman. black. Superman's black. Ooh. Hi. Superman Ooh. will be you know like what? black have Irish. A, have a callback to the pimp in the real Superman movie. <laughs> yeah, they're going to do That's that? That's a slick outfit. <laughs> I hope they do that. I hope they do. Uh, actually, uh, here's here's the well. Of course, uh, Jeff has written an article about uh, mm-hmm. his for, ideas for parallel for universe. He uh, he he texted me and said, uh, "Do you have any ideas?" And I I sort of threw out some not ordinary ones. I liked your suggestions. And I didn't because I was dying. Um, Angelica Houston, Betty be White. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's let's try to let's try to you know appeal to more people. Let's uh, Roseanne. Uh, ro- <laughs> I think, I think Jeff, oh, Clark. Jeff stopped taking my texts when I said Katy Perry. 
She'd be no, I hot, no, she'd be hot. I think she, she, she'd be Zoe. so hot. That's who, that was the other one I picked. Was Zoe the Hallmark yeah. Hall of Fame movie with Betty White in it did very good ratings. <laughs> we were talking about it. We actually had an unconventional one, which was uh, Rosario Dawson, and I put her on my list. Yeah. Yes. How about I JMJ Bullock? One. Wait, how old is Rosario Dawson? 30, 31. It doesn't matter. And the guy playing <laughs> Superman is 20, Is twenty seven? Well, twenty seven. Okay. I this all it. may be for naught. Why? She's not Lois Lane, movie. probably not in the movie. <laughs> says says oh. says, Wait, says daily variety. No, the not quoting I read either David Boyer or Chris Nolan or I, Zack Snyder. I read that article that a couple make any times. Sense. It said that Lois isn't the female lead. Well, Who would it be then? Well, what I what I read in the in Variety was that and according to people who are working on the script is that it all takes place before Clark Kent goes to work at the Daily Planet. So if we see Lois, it'll probably hasn't be that at the been, end. Hasn't that huh. been on no. TV yeah, for 10 it's years? Smallville. Yeah, it's Holy called Smallville. Holy shit, I tried to watch that last night. Or maybe it's taking place while Clark Kent is not at the Daily Planet. Or it's a uh, it's that uh, what's that one you loaned me that I loved Earth, so much? Yeah, cuz Lois Earth, Earth, Earth 1. Yeah, Earth 1. Lois could be written out of that one. She was in it, yeah. but could be written out of it. I, it was I think really is, good. I think it's a smoke screen. You think so? Uh, I do too. Yeah. You can't seriously. You can't have a Superman movie without Lois Lane. That's just ridiculous. I, I did read one article that said that she's not the female lead, which means you could have a, a more prominent female in the story. Maybe Kara um, could be in the story, mm, or you could have nom, Martha. Nom, nom, nom. Martha. <laughs> Betty White. <laughs> God, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, um, well, yes. So actually, the female lead could be Ma Kent. Kara, okay. did you watch Smallville last night, buddy? No. <laughs> I did. You did? <laughs> Shannon's been homesick. He's <laughs> wow, you must have really I been across the I, I, uh, I TiVo'd it. I, yeah, I, you should I watch it. It's really, really good. <laughs> what, what? You are sick. How are those meds, Fuck son? that show. No, you know, you, know they're, you know they're bringing Booster Gold on. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. I love oh. Booster Gold. I they're love Booster Gold, too, but it'll show up. It'll be wearing a track suit. Yep. <laughs> but it'll, be, um, it'll be yellow and last black. Last night's episode. What was it? What did I miss? Yellow sunglasses. It was The Matrix. <sighs> okay. It was Superman. Uh, yeah, Superman and Green Arrow and uh, Lois Lane were in the Matrix, and Chloe was the one. Chloe is the one. Chloe she is was, Neo like, shooting people and fucking. I'm sorry. Did you stay and watch Supernatural? Because Supernatural was really good. I my I'm, wife loves that. Show. You know, I'm only watching Smallville because it is the last season. Right. You know, and, and they've I, I been just, doing some superheroy stuff. I watch it just in case the Tana show. Ooh, speaking of shitty superhero shows that Shannon and I love to watch. <laughs> oh. I haven't been watching it. The, the, the cape, they cut the order episode order back, didn't they? I'm um, shocked. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not doing well. <laughs> it's but, crappy. But you guys, you guys are on to something with the cape, because I'm reading on the internet all over the place that it's the, the worst, best superhero show oh, on TV. Oh, it's delirious. Yeah. They, the two episodes I watched, I was just like, oh my God. They it's less believable than the than the '60s Batman. <laughs> they, they had a, a pretty good parody of it on Saturday Night Live last week, where that NBC's ordered oh, yeah. shows based off of other clothing the articles. Scarf. The scarf, <laughs> the uh, the sleep mask, and my favorite was the Spanx. The Spanx. <laughs> my alter ego is a slightly fatter man. Yeah. <laughs> I could star in the sleep mask. Uh, let's see. So yeah, so there, uh, I'm going. I'm actually going to watch the cape while it's still on. Yeah, I, I think, I think it'll be on Watch Instant, or yeah. they'll actually pay you to watch it. Yeah, maybe. Please watch it. That's a dollar. Watch. watch this episode. That's the future. Please save the cape. Uh, let's see. So the so there's that. Um, I've got a whole bunch of shit here. Speaking of TV. Mm-hmm. So do you um, want to know about the yes. the the, uh, the Fox show, the name of which has just gone out of my head because I'm old? Which one? <laughs> the Simpsons? <laughs> what's it about? Come on, buddy. We'll uh, what's it about? Uh, the one that's coming out in the spring. With all the couples? Where they go, no, where they go back into like 80 million, 60 million years into the past. Oh, it's uh, um, the, is it the Spielberg one? Yeah. Uh, um, it's called Land of the Lost. Yes. Di- Hot, dinosaurs. Hot yes. cave girl. God damn. Um, Earth 2. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Yeah, I think we know well, the one. The premise is the premise is that it's it starts out slightly in our future where the Earth is maybe it's a hundred years. Terra Nova, is that what's called? That's it. That's, that's it. Thank you. Wow, you win. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Not bad for a dog. You, you win a free dog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking about the dog in his. Um, <laughs> well, that's a real dog. <laughs> uh, Has it moved? So the Earth is like we've destroyed the Earth. So the the plan to save the Earth is to go sixty five million years or eighty million years in the past. Huh? And to, yeah, I know. To pre so ruin have, it? Well, see what. what <laughs> apparently, they they've assured us they're going to address this question, but they've gone so far into the past that they've gone before the asteroid destroyed the dinosaurs. So um, we're a little. We're well, they'll just go back to the past again. But this is fair. 
how are you saving the future? No, no, Carrie. If there's because you're going to go back and change time. They have to save the cheerleader. No, again. because it depends. It's, it's like <laughs> it depends on what type of time travel we're dealing with. If we're it's dealing like with J.J. Abrams went into the past right. mm-hmm. to save Star Trek. Mm-hmm. They're going to go into the past to save the Earth, but the Earth, the Earth, Earth. But this is the comment that I made that I heard about six or eight other people make, uh, including one producer of another show. Um, it, it looks kind of cool. We like the thought of it. And Brandon Bragg is involved, so we oh, don't Jesus. really f- expect much. Oh. Mr. Oh. Braga. Yeah. The Seriously. ruiner of all fun things. Yep. Who's he? He's a guy. Uh, Some guy with a stupid track. name. Guy we know. Voyager. <laughs> Voyager. He used to be Carrie's long Was he involved in 24, too? Yes, he was. Yeah. When 24 sucked. I'll have to IMDB him. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he has a tendency to ruin projects. Yeah. Stuff. Uh, okay. He's no Joe Davola. So how was your? He's no crazy Joe Davola. That's true. <laughs> what uh, uh, now? You you came back from this uh, TV thing. What, yeah. what did you learn while you were away? I learned justify that the, the weather is much nicer in California than it is here. You're not justifying the expense of ascending you, sir. Um, uh, please, <laughs> <laughs> please, please to uh, uh, give us a report on. I, I on hung out with some famous people, kind of, yeah. sort of, mm-hmm. and I asked them some questions. And I saw our friends from the new uh, Being Human, which I still like a lot. Mm. It's a good show. I, and it's it's a little nine zero two one zero for uh, me. I but, you know don't hate it, but I don't. It's doing rather well for them. I know it's doing well, but you know what? It's also about a thousand times better than anything else on sci-fi. Well, I agree. I'm also glad that Crash Down from Battlestar Galactica got a new job. <laughs> That's true. He was, he was I, Boomer's co-pilot. I don't like the ghost as much. I don't think she's... I don't really? Know. She's really hot. Uh, I just um, can't take my eyes off and of I her. Think the she's not as a good an actress, but I agree. she's really but hot. The, and I, think yeah, the, no, I don't think the, the criticism that it's, that it's you know, they're younger, because go, look, go back and look at the actors in the other one. No, I'm... But, you know, here's... Uh, Charity and I were talking about this. We... I... I love uh, the original one, and and I I'm not one of those people that's like, why did they do this? And I'm not just ima- automatically like to hell with any kind of remake or whatever. Right. But um, I don't know. I just like I just don't think the casting is as good in this one. Really? I, I like the, yeah. I like the werewolf. Uh, he's he's cool. really good, and uh, I I think the vampire like the is whole, boring. Like, I like the whole idea of the of the guy, the other vampire who's a bad guy. And oh, he's the best thing on it. And then there's you know, and, see, and, and I think they could have got a better actor for that role. Really? I really do. But yeah. I still think he's the best thing on it. Um, see, I didn't went see the original, so I'm fine with it. Yeah, he went from exactly. being I have no comparison. Pseudo Jesus in in uh, uh, lost uh, lost to being Satan in Supernatural. Now, see here, I was no. I was ready to hate the vampire because because uh, um, he's doomsday. Somebody somebody told me that he was just so ridiculously good looking that they just couldn't focus. That and was on Facebook, I think. Yeah, someone mentioned it. it w- I think it was Bill Frost. Um, he is ridiculously good looking. He looks like he was genetically engineered in a lab yeah. to be good looking, but well, but he can act, so I'm okay with now, it. Now, well, let me get this straight. Uh, the yeah. criticism of, of this TV show yeah. from some quarters, hi, Bill, <laughs> is that the people are better looking than the average person on the street. Well, not because like that would take out virtually every, every show, show on television. <laughs> the, va- the vampire on the British one is one of the best looking guys on the planet. Mm. I know, you know, I have a crush on him. But um, <laughs> but no, what I'm saying is like, so Charity and I were talking about this, and it's like, okay, yeah, I can't help but compare it a little bit to the original. Right. Right? And um, and I tr- judging it on its own merit, you know, it's like The Office or whatever. You know, it's, it's different enough. But at the same time, I'm like, if I wasn't comparing it to the original, I'd probably still be kind of lukewarm on it. Mm-hmm. See, I love it. Because I don't think it's that, I don't know, I just don't think the performances are that great. But I'm still going to watch it. I'm yeah. not going to stop watching Yeah, it. I'm sticking around, but we'll see. I'm just, no. ha- I, seriously, I'm happy to have something on sci fi that I like. That doesn't I don't suck like along. It. Uh, whatever the hell that Tiffany Debbie Gibson thing was that was on. Oh the- my <laughs> gosh! Oh, Did hurt. you watch it? Who watched it? Dude, I watched, it, uh, Mega, I watched Mega Shark. No, Mega versus Python versus, versus uh, Gatoroid. 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 Yeah. I watched about. Fuck, that was terrible. Rachel put the TV on because sometimes when she's crocheting, oh. she likes to put the television on, and then she just walked out of the room, and this was what was on. I was painting, I wasn't paying attention. And I hear Debbie Gibson say that crazy bitch mutated it herself or something yeah. like that. And I look up and Tiffany <laughs> is wearing some sort of dominatrix ranger outfit. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and the woman the woman's uh she's Ample? 
She's yeah, she's very ample. No, she's, she's fat. Ample. I mean, she, and she's got big teeth. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but I was, was I was we? I was stunned with some of the dialogue coming out, and then they showed one of the monsters. Yeah, I swear to God, I could do better myself. Okay. Well, I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> but but the thing, and the, I don't know how to do the these thing kind of about graphics. that is, it's hard to criticize these shows because they are intended to be awful. Oh no, 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 and no, they do no, very well. No, okay, here's but the problem. Why? I will tell you why? the problem. I don't no, know because wait, people watch. Right? I will tell you the whole Shannon, goddamn problem. I'm I'm channeling Shannon right now. I think I know where he's going. Yes, sci-fi movies are shit. We all know that. Mm-hmm. Right? The special effects are shit. There's mm-hmm. terrible fucking actors in it. Or there's actors that are been in better stuff that are ashamed to be in it. But they always play it straight, right? Yeah, Where it's exactly. Like, we're really scared. Holy shit, this fucking they, half squid, half... They, have, uh, they they know they're exactly. They know they're fighting the monster right. of the week, but they, they take scared, it seriously. It's serious. This one, yes, they were totally uh, like winking at the audience. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And it was <laughs> that's what ruined shit. it. Yeah. Especially at the two point, hillbillies in the rowboat. Burn! At one point, yeah. Tiffany and Deborah Gibson are who needs a cheeseburger. Who they had a cat fight. That lasted about twenty minutes long, right? <laughs> they and both had a kitten. They ended up <laughs> in a river, like they, all, all away from this party, or whatever. And then uh, Tiffany and her stand up, and I think I can't remember which one. She goes, "Do you hear that? No. Do you hear that?" She goes, "No, what? What?" She goes, "I think we're alone now." And then, oh, and then, and then, and then, and then Debbie no. Gibson says, "The beating of my heart is the only sound." Yeah. Oh. Uh, and yeah, then, no. for some yeah. fucking reason. Mickey Dolan's from the Monkey shows up. Now that was funny. <laughs> Does Mickey he still Dolan's have a big ponytail? Well, he has here, a big fucking moon face. Is what he's got. Yeah, he he, look, <laughs> he looks like he looks like one of those Jeff Dunham puppets. Yeah, but he does. He, <laughs> he he's there for the fundraiser to save the Everglades from because Mickey Dolan's show right. will save the Everglades. Mm-hmm. And and uh, he gets up and they're about ready to uh, to to do it. And he says, "I'm going to sing one of my biggest hits from the '60s." And out of the sky, a giant snake comes and chomps oh, him, eats him and eats him and takes him. But it was terrible. <laughs> but it was terrible. I couldn't. Well, I, I watched the whole thing. Though. I heard that they're going to start trying to put him in movie theaters. And they're we gonna, still can't get the funding for Mandelabra. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't go. Best it, one ever. If you can find it, and I'll tell you once again. Mm-hmm. Best one they ever, ever did. Project Metal Beast. Project Metal Beast and Mansquito, I hear. Yeah. Project Metal Beast was so awesome. I like Dino Shark. <laughs> Dino Shark? Just because it was so horrible. I mean... I swear, and I wrote this at the time, you know, first he shows up in the Arctic, but magically, suddenly, <laughs> he's on the Mexican Riviera, so people can wear bikinis, you know, <laughs> because you'll have fewer people in bikinis if he's in the Arctic Ocean. Did, did anyone uh, see Sharktopus? Yes. Because that's the one I wanted to see, and I didn't. Shannon's Which seen them all. Uh, my wife loves those movies. Actually, okay. send his wife screeners now. But, yeah. They should. They should. <laughs> and the I'll scripts. tell you what, though. Project Metal Beast. <laughs> Just, like Just the best concept <laughs> ever, right? Uh, okay, Mammoth? so... No, we're we're scientists in this great underwater uh, underground lab, I love and this uh, idea too. somehow we uh, get a hold of a goddamn werewolf. Yep. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this I'm werewolf? Okay, I'm with you. What we're gonna do with this werewolf, uh, which is also uh, already a mythical creature that is mythical. hard to kill, we're gonna yeah, armor it. <laughs> we're gonna put armor on this werewolf. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Oh fuck everything. <laughs> yep. Nothing right? could go wrong. <laughs> How are we gonna Sounds kill like this Jaws armor? Three D. Yep. I just oh, thought man. of a new sci-fi movie. What? The Woolly Mammoth. Woolly and it's gonna Mammoth. Be, it's going to be Zach Galifianakis, and he's going to sprout tusks and start <laughs> roaming around, and then he's going to get frozen. And he's going to come to life in 10,000 years when everything's changed and everybody wears bikinis and he just roam around knocking over That's cars. That's awesome. Actually, he's Encino Man? No, <laughs> shut up, Tony. Actually, <laughs> just shut up. Mancino Yay! Man. Encino <laughs> Man did not have <laughs> Zach Galifianakis. That's true. But you know what does? What? R.I.P.D. What? Remember what? that comic book? Really? Yeah. Zach, Zach Galifianakis is in talks to join Ryan Reynolds. In oh, the, uh, Jesus, because Ryan Reynolds needs to be oh, in every in everything. fucking Ryan, comic Ryan book. He has to keep busy because of his broken heart. Shut yeah. up. My broken um, heart. It's the uh, ghost policeman patrolling the underworld. Hey, so. b- by the way, thank you for bringing that up. The rumors now are that Scarlett Johansson didn't dump him. He dumped He dumped her for Sandra Bullock. What? What? Well, makes uh, him an asshole. Uh, apparently. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> apparently, she cheated on him. Yeah. He did not cheat on her. Oh. How uh, how unguy like that is. She cheated on she cheated <laughs> on Ryan him Reynolds. with my mind. Don't you love it? Yeah. Isn't it weird? I think like there has to be a way we can blame Jesse James. There must Something. be. <laughs> there must be. And, and and not, I love it when, when those stars are with those hot chicks everybody wants to be with. They 
Cheat on you know my favorite one of all time? What? Fisher Stevens. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Fisher <laughs> Stevens. Who's a Michelle Pfeiffer? Who was dating Michelle Pfeiffer and he's an ugly troll. Oh, he is <laughs> now too, yeah. Johnny Pfeiffer is alive. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I got Michelle Pfeiffer, but I'm going to bone down this, <laughs> this waitress from the IHOP. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. She gave him a Rudy to Just to show you, men are great. It's uh, like every guy who's ever been with Halle Berry has cheated yeah. with someone else. It's awesome. We're guys, dude. Come yeah, on. But high we, five. High we, five. We, Good we work, know, guys. Good job, guys. We know guys. from everything we've heard that Halle Berry is dude. But she's a giant a bitch. They had no choice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. Spray some boys and berry on her face. All right. Before we go to break, some quick news about, let's see, the new Bond movie. Uh, I'm excited. I'm the new together? villain. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's my dog. Villain. You are. <laughs> I expect you to die, Mr. Bond. <laughs> no, Mr. Bond. Uh, Javier Bardem <laughs> is confirmed. He's been offered the role of the latest Bond villain. I'm sorry, Scott. Oh. Shit. Uh, <laughs> 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 you thought your, you thought thought your screen it. test went so well. <laughs> I don't well, know, if dog. this is the case, then they cannot use my dog. And you know, I read with him. It, you his, know. his only qualifications were that he knocked up Penelope Cruz. <laughs> they, they said, oh, you knocked her up. You Scott can have the part. Scott, you can. Uh, he, he also says that it's not quite correct. Maybe you still have a chance. It says here, not quite correct to call him a Bond villain. He says they're changing the whole thing, the whole dynamic. I'd be playing Bond's nemesis, yes, but it's not that obvious. Everything is more nuanced and intriguing. He's going to be Q, Ooh. and that's why he's going to be the nemesis, because he keeps giving him these <laughs> shitty gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're just making the crying game. Yeah, the He'll be dragged the entire time. Maybe nah. he's uh, another agent that's competing for the top or spot. Maybe he'll be his son. Could be. It could be double look a lot alike. It could be 004, because 004 got killed in the beginning of that one movie. So oh, that would be fun. Uh, let's see. Just a couple other quick things. Do they things. retire their numbers when they die? <laughs> they really should. The you know? They're all hanging their <laughs> It's not like, you, it's it's not like you move up, either. Parliament. That's what always <laughs> confused me. I'd be like, you know, wait, James Bond's always waiting for 006 to die so he can go up one. No, it doesn't happen. <laughs> you don't move up? No. No. You stay, you stay the number you're assigned. Yep. It's only um, seven dudes, of, six dudes have died. I want to be chief and talk in the cone of silence. <laughs> 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 Maybe he read for the wrong movie. Missed it by <laughs> that much. Uh, let's see, real quick here. Uh, the Dark Shadows movie is moving forward. Oh, good. Yay! What a surprise, really. And, uh, it's going to be two hours of Johnny Depp just staring it? at a screen. Do we know? It's uh, Tim Burton, Johnny Depp. Of course. And uh, Jackie Earl Haley is mm. on board as Loomis. I bet he's creepy. Loomis <laughs> is, the, is the groundskeeper. Yeah. He, is the, he is the one who becomes the unwilling servant yeah. of Barnabas For Collins. Barnabas. Yes. He's, mm -hmm. he's the Renfield. And uh, Bella Heathcote, uh, you, you know her. Sounds hot. Oh, sure. Sure okay. She's related hot. to Bella Lugosi. She's Australian. But Jackie Earl Haley, wouldn't you be said that? probably got weird eyes and huge boobs. She's she is, uh, she's Victoria Winters, the oh! governess. Yes, well, she's the one who looks like Barnabas's... This is long lost love. Long lost love, yes. right. And she'll be staring at his in painting. The, in the 18th century. It, it, but you know what I really... Loves I didn't know. Dark Shadows. I loved the Dark I Shadows. Know we you, had a Dark Shadows expert you, on the panel. You know what That's I great. really look forward to in this movie? Johnny Depp playing Barnabas Collins as a drunk Brit. Because <laughs> that <laughs> never luck. fucking gets old at all. Uh, you know what I look forward to? Not seeing it. I'm oh, see. you're stupid. You're stupid, stupid. No, you're stupider. <laughs> all right, I'll decide who's stupid here. And so far, they've only named white right. people, so and you should be able to go see it. Yeah, it's only white people in the movie. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. So, uh, oh, because they'll yeah, sneak a black person well, in there somewhere. <laughs> I guess somebody was on the crew. They always do. There has not been a black man in its Burton movie since the original Batman. Although if they show us like when he was alive, that would be once again the late 18th century. I think no, they probably didn't have slaves. It's Maine. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Irish Holy slaves. Shit. We had slaves. I think in that Maine should be the first? title of the episode. <laughs> I don't think they would have slaves. It's Maine. It was in. It's Maine. No Maine. slaves. It's no in Maine. slaves in Maine. In Maine. <laughs> Collinsport is in Maine. The, the slaves in Maine, Maine were mostly in the plane. The slaves on the in plane. Maine. <laughs> Shannon, I think you should be the, the first uh, racist film critic. So every time a black person just shows you, go, nope, nope, <laughs> out, <laughs> bye, oh. bye, 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 bye. Way to bye, bye. <laughs> he walked out of oh, Iron no. Man. It was <laughs> way to right sneak up the movie, in. buddy. No. Like, uh, like I'm all into Iron Man. I'm like, yeah. You know? Yeah. No. Bye. I have the answer Goodbye. for you, Who's though. Goodbye. Who's that? Goodbye. <laughs> I have the answer for you, though. You need to watch the Hallmark Channel because while I was in L.A., they had this party and they had on a loop um, on screens clips of like ten of their movies, uh -huh. past, present, and future, and in the clips of. Seriously, at least 10 of their movies, there was one black person, and he was the barber. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm going, 
Jesus, this this channel is whiter than BET is black. Did you hear about <laughs> Shannon's new video service she's created? It's inspired by Clean Flicks. It's actually called White Flicks. Oh, it, it just, just wipes them them all out. the people of any ethnicity out of any movie. Everybody looks creepy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so the white people would be talking to no one? If there's Absolutely no nobody. It's like Absolutely nobody. Boys in the Hood's actually really boring. Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood just seems really inappropriate. Yes. Yes. Color, yes. color yes. purple is six minutes of white people talking about fields. And it's impossible. It's impossible to understand what they're fighting over in Gone with the Wind. Yes, exactly. and, and every Spike Lee movie is only opening credits and closing credits. That's right. <laughs> you Glory, even, the movie Glory, you just can't figure out what the big conflict's about. <laughs> What's up, Doug Matthew Johnson Broderick joint? versus an army. <laughs> all the uh, dudes. What's going on? All the public enemy music has been replaced. Yeah. You know, with and Steely the, uh, Dan. Boone. With the, Steely, Dan. Steely Dan. The ending fight in Daredevil has just been Affleck getting thrown up against the ceiling for no apparent reason. <laughs> Pretty cool to see. <laughs> That that I liked. I liked that because it was like he was magic or something. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm not really racist. White flex. Let's white get flicks. on this. Yep. White flex. Yeah, we're white all flicks. over it. Just clarify but, that one. But there's a great idea for someone out there listening in, uh, you know, Alabama. Yeah. Just for you. You got white flex. After these <laughs> messages, we'll be white <laughs> back. White. Well, our white friends. <laughs>